Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. We are here learning about how to make things in VR for Android using Unity. And in today's lesson, we're gonna be building on last week uh, when we made a scene transition. So now we're gonna make a scene transition where you're transitioning from a 2D scene with a button that you can press to a fully VR scene. Okay, so uh, in order to do this, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when we started uh, last week, we made this uh, little button here, and if you were to press play, you would notice that it does just fine in taking you from one scene to the next. That's all fine and dandy, but if you were to build this into your Android phone right now, you would notice that this scene, even this scene without any sort of 3D camera in here, it will actually be in VR. And that is because we enabled virtual reality in our build settings. So open that window, go to play settings, and over here take a look at what we have under other settings. Virtual reality supported is checked, and we have the cardboard SDK uh, selected. And that's what we did in our very first video. So in order to make sure that we have a 2D scene to start with, you would think that maybe we would just disable this, but that's not the case. If we were to disable this, uh, we would not be able to have virtual reality in any other scene. Uh, so you can't think of this as toggling this virtual reality supported thing on or off. What we need is an empty object. So come over here and click None. Now, none is basically just an empty device, just like cardboard, but instead of cardboard, it's just blank. Now, we can switch back and forth between these, and we don't have to worry about activating this. So go ahead and make sure that none is above cardboard. The reason you want it above cardboard is because it gives, uh, it gives your 2D scene a chance to load before the rest of the program has a chance to touch the cardboard. So uh, go ahead and build that to your device and see what happens. Okay, so now this is in 2D, but if we push our button, our other scene is also in 2D, and that's not what we want. So we've put this in here, and that's a good start, but we are going to need some code. So what we need to do is go ahead and come over here to our scripts folder and start a new script, C sharp script, and we're going to call this VR yes please. And we are going to attach it to our second scene. All right. In order to make this work, we need to use a VR engine. So uh, come in here and type using Unity engine dot v r excellent and don't forget your curly bracket okay not your curly bracket your semicolon my bad okay down here we have a an update which we are not going to use go ahead and get rid of that and the way this is going to work and the reason why i didn't attach it to the first video is because there's kind of a convoluted process uh, we need to make sure that we have a start function and then we need to have an I enumerator coroutine. So we will make sure that both of them are public so that they can be used properly. And we are going to say start coroutine. And let's see, what do we want to name it? Uh, activator VR. Yeah, okay. And what kind of activator VR are we wanting? We are wanting cardboard. Okay, don't forget your semicolon. All right, now, right now we don't actually have <clears throat> an activator VR, so let's make it. Public I enumerator. Okay, and we are going to call it activator VR. Okay, now we're going to need some <clears throat> quotes here, and what we're going to need is, or I'm sorry, not quotes, but 
parentheses. And what we're going to need is a string. Okay. All right. That's our that's our string that we want to pass through. Brackets, curly brackets. And down here we want to say VR settings. There we go. Dot load device by name. Okay. And in parentheses, we are going to add, yes, VR. Excellent. All right, now we're going to need to make a yield uh, return null. OK. And then VR settings. There we go. Dot enabled equal true. Excellent. OK, so this is how we are going to make sure that our, our, our virtual reality starts. All right, so there we go. That should be it. Go ahead and hit the Save button. And here in our assets, we're going to go to the intro scene, which is where we have our virtual reality set up. And we are going to drag the new script that we just created over here onto Pepito. Now you could put it literally on anything. Uh, doesn't matter. You know, as long as this uh, checkbox is checked, this script will execute as soon as the scene opens. Okay. Now we, that that's good. But we also, what if what if we decide to go back to that scene? What if we made a button here that made it go back to that 2D scene. Okay, we need to make sure that we go when we start that particular scene, it has a chance to be in virtual reality or in 2D, my bad. <laughs> so go ahead and save. Open up your main menu again, go over to scripts, right click, create a new C sharp script, and we're going to call this VR no thank you or no thanks. Okay, open that up, and same deal here, using Unity Engine, oops, okay, so right now, did you guys see that? If we type in Unity Engine, it's not going to happen, so that means that we need to shut down not only our Visual Studio, but we also need to shut down and restart Unity, so let's go ahead and just... Go ahead and finish this real quick. Uh, Unity um, engine dot VR. There we go. We're just going to power through this because we know the code now. So uh, start co routine, and we are going to call that uh, deactivator VR. Okay. And we're going to pass a string through that containing the word none. And the reason for that, if we look over in our, <clears throat> in our settings, in our player settings, go to edit, project settings, and then player. And that is the same as going uh, file, build settings, player settings. It's literally the same place. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way, look over here. We created an empty developer, or a, um, empty developer, uh, we, an empty device called none. And that's exactly what we need to access right here. Okay, so we got none. We are going to come down here and delete our update and make a public I enumerator okay and it's going to be called as we said earlier oops my bad deactivator deactivator vr okay and for whatever reason we created a string and we're going to call it no vr all right and don't forget uh we need curly brackets to make this an actual coroutine. And in here, we're going to uh, access our VR settings, but uh, of course, we're going to need a restart for it to, to 
make more sense here. So VR settings dot load device. My bad. Load device by name. And we are going to load no VR. Excellent. And hit your uh, semicolon. Come. Well, first you got to make sure you spell things right. And when you don't have your autocomplete on, it's kind of hard. Okay, VR settings dot load device device by name no VR uh, yield return null semicolon and then VR sorry VR settings dot uh, enabled equal false and semicolon. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go ahead and save this and then close down Visual Studio. We are going to save our scenes and then close down Unity. And then we are going to open them back up right away. There we go, menu. All right, now we'll just wait for this to open real quick. Okay, now we have two scripts, VR Yes Please and VR No Thanks. Let's go ahead and attach the VR No Thanks to Joffrey. If you remember, he is our script butler, and he is able to hold all of our scripts for us. So here he is holding VR No Thanks. And here's the scene loadinator which becomes active when you press this button, as can be illustrated by this on-click event, etc. Okay, so there we go. We have the ability now to open this scene in 2D and then open our next scene in VR. So in order to, uh, in order to prove this, <laughs> go to your file and build and run. There we go. Now we see our Unity's in 2D, and then our menu is in 2D. Our button is super tiny, but we can push it still. Okay, now we have a VR scene. Very good. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I am going to go ahead and uh, close this up. I wanted to uh, welcome all of the new people who are here and have joined over the last few days. Uh, We've, we are up to 55 subscribers, so there are people all over the world who are, who are watching the show, and um, I hope that it helps all of you guys. So, once again, thank you very much, and I will see you guys on the very next episode.